Hi and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here then hi my name is Debbie and in this video I will be swatching and sharing my first impressions on the new Pat McGrath metallic liquid lust liquid lipsticks so if you want to know and see then keep watching Before I jump into the review and swatches, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so that you get notified every time I share a video. Also follow me on my Instagram and TikTok handles and let's get started. So before I start, let me just tell you if you want to know how I created this look right here. I created using the Makeup by Mario New Ethereal Eyes Anniversary Edition palette. I created this look using that palette and did a first impressions and a detailed review on the product. I will leave a link down in the description section below so that you can go check it out and also see how I created this beautiful ethereal eyes. And with that, I'm just gonna stop talking and get into the lipstick. So I got this um, five new shades from Pat McGrath and I'm going to first go into the website and I'm going to read what Pat McGrath's website has to say about her new Liquid Lust Metallics. So this is her website. So I'm going to go into the lips and then shop all lips. There you go, the Liquid Lust Legendary Wear Matte Lipstick. Website's a little slow. And there you go, on, look at the picture, it's gorgeous. Okay. So these are the metallics and it has come with three new shades. One is Nude Awakening, which is a bronze nude with golden pearl, Rose Divinity with Cool Moth Rose, and Crimson Sunset Dirty Vermilion. And the, all the other, I am going to try out two other colors which I don't have and that is Nude Venus which is a universal warm coral nude and the other one is Nocturnal Amour which is true burgundy. I love a nice burgundy shade. So, they retail at $32 so these babies are expensive. So I'm going to start by using the metallics first. So these are the three metallics and they come in this gorgeous red metallic tube. This one is Rose Divinity. It's too shiny, you can't even tell the shade but don't worry, I'll be swatching them. This is Crimson Sunset and this is Nude Awakening. The other two that I will be trying, it comes with that normal black packaging. This one is the Nude Venus and this one is the Nocturnal Amour which is the True Burgundy. So I'm going to first start with the regular ones and then I'm going to jump into the metallic ones. I know you can't wait to see. I can't wait either. So let's start with the Nude Venus. I love Pat McGrath's um, liquid lipstick formula. It's literally weightless. So that is the color. Oh my god. Now this one's nice. But it does have a pink and a coral. It's more like a salmon pink. So I really love this color. Okay, moving on to the next one, which is the Nocturnal Amour, the True Burgundy. Okay, let's try with this one. Mm hmm. This one's burgundy. This does remind me of one of the colors that I had from MAC uh, called High Drama. Pretty similar. This just brighten up my face so much. Really, really, really. I am so much in love with all the liquid lipstick that Pat McGrath has till now. Wow. Now, are you ready for the metallics? Cause I am. Funny thing, whenever I walk around with this hoops, I can literally hear the wind passing through them like shh, 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 shh. I can't be the only one, right? You know what I'm talking about. Mm, oh my god, so these are opaque 
and pigmented. Oh my god. So let's start with the nude color which is the Nude Awakening and it has bronze pearl. Let's watch this one. Look at this. Time to try on. This is bronze honey. No question asked. This is bronze. And they are metallic. And it's unbelievable how buttery this liquid lipstick actually feels on the lips. And it is pretty opaque. Very, very, very different formula. And it's so soft, it literally feels like you are slathering up butter on your lips. And it's opaque, it's nice and really nice. Really, really, really nice. Time to move on to the next one. The next one that I will be trying is Crimson Sunset. And let's watch it. Yes. I think this is the one. It's like it has a red, like an auburn red to it. The shine of this liquid lipstick is out of this world. It is, I mean, you wanted metal, she has delivered. Ooh. Last but not the least, I will be trying on this Rose Divinity color, which I will be swatching. It's like this. I think it's the kind of color that you are going to get if you mix the nude one and the crimson one. If you mix these two, I think you'll get Rose Divinity. If Crimson and Nude Awakening had a baby, it'll be called Rose Divinity. Let's try it on. So just for your reference, I am MAC NC37, but I do add a little bit of NC35. I'm actually between NC35 and NC37. I'm North Punjab, uh, Shiseido Pine, and uh, that's about it. So that will help you to understand uh, how the shades are going to look on you if, if you're closer to my skin tone. Yeah, I stick to what I just said. If Nude Awakening and Crimson had a baby, it'll be called the Rose Divinity. So let me come up close with the color. Now for the verdict, I would say that when it comes to the texture, it is no different from the other liquid last matte liquid lipstick that she has. It is soft, it's buttery, it is opaque, and uh, it is so, 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 it, it is metallic. It is metallic, it's not glittery. The Nude Awakening is more bronze gold. The Crimson is crimson, so it's more on the Dirty Vermilion, like she mentioned on the website, and the rose has a little pink in it. These are how the shades look, and definitely something that you need to try it on. I do think that the price point is expensive. It's $32 per tube. It is expensive, but the quality is unquestionably really, really good. I have been a fan of Pat McGrath's liquid lipstick and I have all of her colors and I have never been disappointed with them. They stay on, they really last. If you drink, eat, they just stay on. They they just stay put. So they have never disappointed me and I have been using her liquid lipstick for some time now. So definitely um, a very very good product that you must try on for a link if you want to know how i created this look i will leave a link down in the description section below i created this look using makeup by mario's new ethereal eyes anniversary edition palette i also have a detailed swatch and review on this product which will be in the link which i will provide down in the description section below i will also write down all the products that i have used in this video along with the shopping links the links are affiliate so if you purchase any product using those links then i do earn a small percentage of commission and i really 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 thank you for your support that is debbie signing off but before i go don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification button so that you get notified every time i post a video also don't forget to follow me on my instagram and 
and TikTok handles with that. Now this is Debbie signing off. I'll see you again in my next video. With that, bye-bye.